Hello guys, welcome back to my uh, channel Planet Goa. I know it's been a long time since I posted some uh, vlogs. Today I'm going to post about my trip to Qatar. Yes, uh, I did this trip uh, two months back during the World Cup. Uh, I went for uh, the match uh, Brazil versus Croatia. It was a quarterfinal match and uh, we it, the plane was all of a sudden, so we just drove to Qatar, which is around seven to eight hours journey from uh, Kuwait, Kuwait border. Yes, um, nothing much to be done while going to Qatar, as we had uh, the higher app. We were enter, we were we were given free entry into Qatar, and as uh, also if you are a GCC resident, it is uh, visa on arrival for all GCC residents in uh, Qatar uh, on arrival sorry you go there and it's on arrival the visa is on arrival for all GCC residents also uh, the drive from uh, Kuwait to Qatar is uh, yeah quite long so you need to have a, a refuel in uh, Saudi so as usual please carry Saudi uh, Rials or you, they pay by card but some petrol pumps don't accept cards they accept only cash because some petrol pumps don't accept uh, outside cards like uh, international cards okay yeah so that's it so we uh, myself and other two friends of mine travel all the way to Qatar uh, but unfortunately uh, in uh, uh, Qatar we were not allowed our vehicles to enter because of the rush, uh, World Cup rush. So we parked our borders at the Saudi border and then we took the World Cup buses which took us to Qatar Stadium to watch the match and we came back by the same bus. So we left on a Friday morning, uh, early morning at around 3.30 and we were there in Qatar by 12.31 which stops obviously. So we needed, we needed, we made a two, three stops one for fuel, one for uh, breakfast, McDonald's breakfast and one for just for stretching ourselves out. So this was it uh, and the journey was smooth, roads are good, okay, it's like you, you take the same road right up to uh, Dammam, you uh, cross Dammam and just after, just before Kobar, there is a right taking you to Qatar. Uh, and the same road leads to UAE, Oman uh, and Qatar, okay, so you have to take the same road. So from uh, from Kuwait to that uh, road which takes you to Qatar right just before Kobar, Al Kobar is around four, uh, around three and a half hour journey, the same like the Bahrain, so because from that road to Bahrain Causeway just another 20 minutes or so. So we drove all the way, all, all along, and the roads were pretty good. Lots of cameras, as usual. And um, yes, after you take a ride from, uh, uh, before just al you take a ride, uh, maybe another one and a half hour, two, you will find a board. You, have, you don't have to miss that board. Okay, anyways, you Google will take you correctly to, the, uh, to Qatar. But there is a board saying Qatar, UAE, Oman. Don't miss that board because you have to take a exit from the highway, come over the flyover, and from there it's another two-hour journey to uh, Saudi border to Qatar border. Okay, we were we parked our cars at the Saudi border name Al Salwa. Uh, I know the Salwa in Kuwait also, but this is Al Salwa border in uh, in uh, Saudi. Okay, it's a Cornish. Uh, seaside where we parked our cars and then from there we took our World Cup buses and we entered uh, Qatar. So I'll just uh, put some few clips. The visa was smooth as usual Saudi once you have done your Saudi entry once one time so it's very smooth the second time or third time you go. Just enter as usual pay your insurance and you enter Saudi. And Qatar as, uh, as I said we had the higher app so it was easy for us to enter. And for GCC residents, it's uh, visa on arrival, so it's not a big deal to enter Qatar. But from the border to the main Doha uh, city, it's around one and a one and a half hour from the Qatar border to uh, Doha city. So it's quite a uh, big place, Qatar, and very nice roads and a beautiful country as well. You know, they have developed this country because of the World Cup. So I'll 
show you some few clips on my vlog. Till then, take care and have a safe driving if you're not planning to go to Qatar. Hopefully, next month, maybe Eid, I have a plan to go to UAE with my family. So, hopefully, I can do that. So, please do subscribe and give some likes so I can show you my trip to UAE. Thank you. Take care. guys this is uh, planet go back again and this time we are traveling from uh, kuwait saudi to qatar to see the world cup so as usual uh, we just crossed the saudi border and now we are into saudi uh, it was a smooth uh, procedure and uh, customs only thing there is too much of rush at the fingerprints and photo because there were too many people who are traveling to Saudi to watch uh, the World Cup to Qatar. Uh, the procedures were the same as I mentioned in my first video when I traveled to Bahrain. Uh, no need to, for, if you travel the first time, no need to go again to do your fingerprints and uh, uh, facial recognition cross the border, just pay the insurance fees as usual, uh, 136 riyal, Saudi riyal, and you can cross the border. Now we are in Saudi, it will take us another 6 hours and 31, 13 minutes to reach the border of uh, Qatar. At 12:40, we left. We left at 3:30 in the morning from Kuwait, Amadi. But uh, it took around one hour at the uh, Saudi border because we are traveling with my friends. They are traveling for the first time to Saudi, so they had to undergo this fingerprints and uh, facial recognition. So it took time there. Otherwise, all went smooth. So we we'll reached by 12:40.
अपना नंबर देता हूँ तो बात कर Fourteen. In one kilometer, take the exit toward Route 66-14. Continue for 48 kilometers.
kerja dah. Mana tu? Flash aja dah. Oh, I have a parking lot. I'm saying, what do you want to do after?